Let's be honest, American Horror Stories Season 2, Episode 2, is so amazing. We open up with the most realistically acted ad for a security company. No one says thank you to their package delivery man. It's pretty much just Ring, but that probably would have cost too much for the budget of this show. Our main character, Jaslyn, buys one after a local guy tells her how amazing it feels to have a single camera guarding his entire house. I guess she's an aspiring resin Etsy seller. Yikes. They live in an amazing gated community that looks super wealthy. But spending $200 on a ring for home security was overdoing it, and Jaslyn's husband gets angry at her. Flashback quickly to 20 years ago when Jaslyn had her home invaded. This started her fear of rabbits, or men in rabbit masks. We never come back to this at all, and it has absolutely no relevance to anything we're going to see in this episode. Her super supportive and classy husband decides to make a joke about this traumatic past she has. Real nice, buddy. Riff Raff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show ends up at Jaslyn's house late at night and tries to sing her a song through the ring device. It's actually super creepy knowing someone is just standing right outside the door in front of you while you talk to them on a screen. Jaslyn calls the cops because Riff Raff won't leave. Apparently, her neighbor has her house on camera and came over to tell the cops she's tripping balls and nothing actually happened. This leaves Jaslyn questioning reality as she's 100% sure she wasn't dreaming and saw Riff Raff shaking his wang at her on camera. Flashes are so annoying. Jaslyn's husband calls the neighbor to see if he can see the guy at the front door they are currently talking to. And of course, no one is there. Dun dun dun! The only thing that the camera caught is a raccoon digging through their trash. I'm calling it now. Riff Raff is actually the raccoon. Jaslyn recounts how she used to tease the creepy janitor at her school by telling him his head looked like a nice sack. How come I never saw janitors hanging around when I was in school? Ah, well, that's a rule of life. If you never see someone, it's because they're hiding and watching you. Oh yeah. Jaslyn is convinced that the creeper at her front door is actually the janitor from her high school that she accidentally let on so many years ago. Dang, this guy is desperate. She pays her old janitor's sister a visit where we learn that he had an obsession with computers. Someone tell this guy about VR chat. Back at home, Jaslyn sees Riff Raff in the camera again. He keeps begging her to let him in just so he can say hi. Mm, seems legit. She does let him in after all, and he actually apologizes for being creepy. She apologizes back to him right as Thanos snaps him out of existence. Turns out he was really just the ghost of the janitor who needed closure before moving on. Oh, well, that wasn't very climactic. I guess he wasn't the raccoon either. Wait, then who was the raccoon? Yeah, what was the point of that? Jaslyn discovers some pretty compelling evidence that the aura camera is able to capture the forms of ghosts. Another spirit from beyond harasses our main characters. Turns out Jaslyn's husband was a ladies' man in a past life, and this new ghost is his ex fiance He found out many years ago that she was pregnant when they were together, and he accidentally pushed her into the middle of the street. It was a vacant area that had no lighting or any traffic at all, but the moment he pushes her, a truck conveniently came by and hit her. Oh, come on! I know, but she didn't die after getting hit. Seriously? Yeah. So he stepped on her neck and killed her. Jeez. She is now back to seek revenge. After the big reveal of the episode, he just disappears. Huh? Yeah, it turns out he was a ghost this whole time too. What the f- Wow, what is it with these endings? No idea. The episodes so far start pretty good and just end in the dumbest ways. True. True.